this video, I gathered 10 diamonds to face off against each other, but there's a boosted diamond lurking on one of the teams. You, the viewer, as well as the other players are being tasked with finding out who that boosted diamond is. Comment down below who you think it is and stay tuned until the end of the video to find out the real answer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Off to round one, starting with a bang here as Daze is going to get the first kill of the game from team subscribe on a team like pro girl kiss are going to be taken down that's your Zofia gone days on that alibi able to take him out very swiftly all right so ace charge is going to come out here from chesty poo but unfortunately for him i believe they're going to get shot off from the door here inside of trophy so Ajitsu, I'm not sure how to say his name, is going to be able to continue playing on that attic mirror right there. He's going to open up a wall or a hole in the wall into armor right now with that C4. Chesty Boo going to take all but one of his HP from, I believe, someone all the way downstairs among us as smoke roaming all the way downstairs main stairs. Going to take Chesty Poo down to one HP right now. Minute 40 seconds left. They're going to have to open up the wall soon if they want to win this round, which is exactly what Chesty Poo is going to do. Wall. Wall's open. He's dead. Chesty Boo going to get taken out. By Ajitsu on the mirror window now. Among Us still downstairs roaming with the smoke. This could prove to be a problem as, I don't know, Pla Platinos is still downstairs. I'm going to call him Plat. Plat is still downstairs on white stairs, but he's going to get a kill on today. So there goes your alibi player. Horn prone inside of the feet holes on big window. Nearly going to miss a kill there, but wow. Among Us with a kill as well as Jolex with a kill onto Kangu and Kizap. So that's going to be only one player remaining or team like and that's going to be plat but the smoke grenades are going to come out from among us and that's going to halt his push quite severely so he's going to rotate back over towards master side but he's going to have to be careful as ajitsu with this mirror window is just holding his push up here as well as i believe that is jolix inside of master closet right now with the feet holes looking at the armory door but plat knows about this he's going to try to preem it but it's not going to happen all right round number two is underway here and we actually see among us roaming again no matter the operator that he's on he seems to like roaming very very much of a solo player you could say now the rest of team like are trying to push in through main lobby it seems potentially going to do a front take we do have kengo in the back here but it seems like the majority of the team like team is in the front side so we could potentially see some sort of a freezer and main push here so far kingu kind of lacking behind not really pushing with this team as well as chesty poo trying to skirt around that mute chamber but not quite able to do so two minutes left on the clock he's trying to hold this long angle into freezer but he's got an smg 11 so it's going to be hard but kizap with the first kill of the round on to among us that's your rumor going down but corn gonna swiftly refrag onto chesty poo that's going to be your osa being taken down. Kengu trying to refrag, but he's going to run straight into a lesion mine. Trying to push these stairs on ADS in a lesion mine, but it's going to work with them. Plat with a kill. Actually, no. Plat is going to get both of these kills. Three kills for him, actually, on today's. And I think you have dropped the diffuser. Lesion. You just clear. Oh, shit. Shit. How did he even pull that off? Kids up the last kill on the Jolix. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even sure what just happened there. Plat was able to just walk in and get three kills. And then I guess Jolix was sitting on the stairs like that. And Kizap was able to just take him out. That was an interesting round to say the least. But team like finally going to take a round against team subscribe. Taking a look at the scoreboard here. We actually see from team like a lot of people kind of slacking behind. Now, admittedly, it is only the second round. So it's understandable if someone's not playing to the best of their ability just yet. But we do have three people on team like O and x right now so i don't know like i said you guys have to determine who the fake boosted diamond is right now as i didn't even mention what team they're on so they could be on either team keep that in mind they could be on team like or team subscribe so you guys have to determine which team they're on and then from there which player it is but with that being said right now pro girl kisser droning in his team by main lobby and garage looks like we're gonna see another main lobby pusher here but they're gonna have to run into days who's playing inside of z hall right now so we're going to see how Platt chooses to handle that as he's going to be trying to push up into that Z Hall himself right now, as well as Kangu is going to be pushing up. But Day's going to say, you know what? I'm going to hop straight back down the freezer stairs. He wasted a good amount of time. He shot some drones. He did his job. He's going to go back down to site now. Kangu not trying to open up any hatches or anything. Just going to be trying to push straight down the freezer stairs. Normally in a diamond game, you would see people open up the freezer hatches first but so far he's not gonna be trying to do that he's just playing shiko 
the hard breach entry frag are gonna walk in and get a kill on the days but corn gonna swiftly refrag on that mute all the way from the head holes in the closet kengu trying to refrag right now not working too well for him but jolik's gonna take the place of days and push up actually very close to kengu and i'm not sure if he knows it just yet he's gonna swing do a little bit of damage onto corn who's rotated out of those head holes here but jolik still close minute 40 seconds left and here comes chesty poo running down the freezer stairs but that's gonna be jolik's to take him out that's also the bomb jolik's gonna go prone waiting for a refrag and there it is that's going to be pro girl coaster actually not getting the down but going to drop doing huge amounts of damage to jolix but it doesn't matter jolix able to pull through with that kill kizap going to try to refrag now kangu rotating back as well but listen everybody on team like is pushing jolix one by one this is not the way you would push something in diamond elo i'm not playing freezer dude that's it or Defeaser's back there, but I'm not. One minute left on the clock, and as you guys can see in the bottom left by Kengu's name, he still has all three of his hard breach gadgets up. So either all of the defenders didn't reinforce any hatches, or he's just not using his utility. Kizap gonna try to rotate towards the front side right now. Kengu gonna push with him as well, but honestly, not the best idea. You should have a split push going on. We should probably see Kizap push towards freezer stairs, and maybe Kengu will, able to, will be able to use his ace charges to open up the mirror window that we see uh corn and ajitsu playing right now smoke grenades are going to come out from among us but that's going to only delay the push a little bit kengu going to rotate back towards the freezer stairs but jolix with the swing right now he's going to get the kill onto kengu it's all to kizap who's straight in the same place trying to get that refract here comes the swing but he's going to get taken out finally someone puts an end to jolix kizap the one to do it 1v3 now he is fairly full hp and corn is fairly lit so this is possible for him to win right now ajitsu with this pre-fire swing and he's actually gonna get that kill oh my god the 360 style flick on him can you imagine Yeesh. all right so with round number four starting that's gonna be team subscribes last round on defense putting them on to attack now so they are winning two to one they won that split but let's see if that's gonna continue here on attack right now Corrin trying to get some wall base through the window right there. And that's going to be Chesty Poo hopping out as smoke. In 20 seconds, Chesty Poo as smoke hopped out to get a kill. And he didn't even peek anything. He hopped out and hopped right back in. Corrin going to punish him for that. And Among Us with a kill of his own onto Platt. So that's your Capkin and your smoke going down quite early into the round now. Is I'm trying to push up to the attic wall here. As we do see Daze trying to open it up. He is struggling a little bit with that Maverick. But he's going to get taken out swiftly by Kizap. But... Days was able to open up a hole into attic there, but he's going to get instantly get downed by Among Us, who was just repelled on that kid's window. He's going to take huge amounts of damage, but Kizap is going to be down, crawling towards that Thunderbird, desperately trying to get picked up. He doesn't want to leave his team in a 2v4. He's going to get eventually picked up. Hit spacebar, buddy. There you are. Kizap going to get picked back up from that Thunderbird. Among Us going to rotate towards the big window now, and we're also going to see Jolix try to push these head holes, and I think we saw... Corrin taking the place of Among Us on this attic window right now. So interesting positioning from the attackers. Not really a unified push just yet. Looks like Jolix might try to go for an attic take. He's going to ash charge open that wall right there. So definitely some form of an attic take happening here. Ajitsu going to, excuse me, Ajitsu going to try to rotate in through that attic hole. I'm lo <laughs> losing my voice here, ladies and gentlemen. Kengu going to get a kill onto Jolix. So that's going to be the Ash getting taken out. He's going for two here. A lot of whiff shots and Korn's going to take him out. Is that the aim you see from a diamond player? I really don't know. Ajitsu going to get C4'd by Pro Girl Kisser. Is up trying to desperately defend against the person on Big Window. That's going to be Among Us who's going to get down. It's all up to Korn now who gets taken out. Kizap with a huge round. <coughs> Alrighty, scoreboard check at round number five here. Chesty Poo, the only player in the lobby so far to be 0 and 4. Is that indicative of him being boosted? I'm not quite sure, but he's not paying attention. And that's going to be a Flores drone from Days going to walk in and instantly take out that shield and all the ADSs. So Chesty Poo going to have to rotate immediately, reinforcing that instantly. That is not a great start. Not to mention Among Us getting a kill onto Platt. Um, I'm not even sure what Chessy Poo just did there. He meleeed his own mirrors to stop the Hibanas. I'm not sure if it worked or not, or if a different explosion took them out, but Pro Girl Kisser going to kill Jolix, and he's very excited about that as well. He could peek the garage door and kill a Jitsu, who's right on the big tower door, but he's going to instead place a Thunderbird to heal himself. But a Jitsu is on cams right here. This could be the freest kill of Pro Girl Kisser's life if he just opens up the door and peeks right now. 
Dusty Poo getting harassed by these Flores drones still. They just will not leave him alone. But finally, Pro Girl Kiss is going to peek the garage door and take a Jitsu out. So there goes your Habana player. It's all going to be up to Among Us, Days, and Corn against our four remaining players from Team Like. Kangu just holding the freezer right now. Honestly, doesn't need to. Platt is dead, and Platt could just watch the freezer cam. But I guess having some uh, double protection there is not terrible. But Kizap in a precarious situation as Days, Among Us, and Corn have now pushed all the way into Pillar. So I'm a little bit worried for his positioning right now. We also see Pro Grokus are going for the flank. Minute 20. This barbed wire is going to give away his position, but I'm not sure if anyone's ready for it. Here comes the flank from Pro Grokus. Two, two, two big kills from him. Chesty Pew finally picking up the first kill of the game for himself with that shotgun kill. Well played by Pro Girl Kisser. I believe getting three or four kills that round. Interesting Valcam placement from Platt. I'm not sure if that's a Valcam that you'd most commonly see in Diamond Elo. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But from, you know, my personal experience, it's uh, it's interesting. So is this one. I've never really seen these in Diamond Champ Elo. But uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that one. Remember, if you guys uh, are not putting your comments down below, you guys are trolling right now. You guys definitely need to be telling us who your predictions are for the boosted diamond player. So far, I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell. We've got a couple of people with low kills. We've got a couple of people do questionable plays. I feel like this is going to be very difficult. His app all the way inside of Kid's Dorm is actually fighting Corn, who's on the repel on games and i'm not sure why he's on the repel to games because the site is currently in dining kitchen so that's an interesting position for him but he's gonna go ahead and rotate down towards the white window now kangu struggling right now as among us is directly above him on the desk playing vertical this is not a great position for kango to say the least minute 50 seconds left on the clock so team like uh has quite a while to defend against team subscribe here Among Us going to rotate towards the Bingo in and out and try to push with his teammate Jolix, who is taken above. Corn was pushing above here, but he's going to be rotating back towards the uh, small tower, which is what he should be doing. Going to be trying to open up that wall, but Kengu might be trying to do an aggressive peek here, but Day is going to swiftly take him out. Corn going to be taking a little bit of damage in that altercation, but not too much. Ajitsu running into showers right now. Uh, this should I'm be running bunks right now. That's Jaeger. That's Jaeger. That's Captain. Bunks is clear. Bunks is completely clear. Yeah. I've we got it. That's smoke, right? He's able to get a big kill on to... I'm not even sure who that was, but Pro Girl Kisser, always in the right place at the right time, swings the breach right now and gets two big kills. We also saw another C4 kill coming from... I believe that was Platt right now. Pro Girl Kisser in a prime position to get another kill, but Korn's going to take him out. That is unfortunate to say the least, but Among Us is down right now, so it is just up to Korn in the 1v2. Platt... Kizap versus Corn. Who is going to win? Corn is very low HP. Pre fire is coming out here from Platt, but it's just not hitting. 50 seconds left now. Corn going to try to push in through Freezer, but that's exactly what Kizap is predicting. He's playing right in the hallway, and that's a swing from Kizap. Wow, and I guess that was a double C4 kill from Platt. You got to oh. Wait, that is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. All right, map number two has started here, and Daze is trying to start it off with a bang. It's map number one. He started off with a spawn peek. He's trying to do just that here on map number two. Spawn peeking into the stock room right now, but it looks like he's not going to get a kill as no one really spawned over there. Daze not giving it up, though. He's desperate for the spawn peek right now, but I'm not sure that anyone is in the line of sight of him. Everyone is rotated, actually, from the south side, which is what he's peeking, over to the north side, which is what he was peeking. So unfortunate timing for Daze, to say the least here, but he's not giving up. He is trying his absolute best to get this kill. He's going to be getting pushed right now from Kangu, though, who's inside of the garage already. And a great shot from Kangu to take him out. That is Daze gone. Your roamer, your mozzie, gone. Breach charges coming out here from Chesty Poo. He's going to be opening up the floor with those breach charges. He also has bombs. So he's got to be careful about where he goes. And there's also a buck. So I'm not sure if he really needs to be playing vertical. No one seems to be watching chains, which means no one is watching the flank for team like. Kangu inside of Oil Pit trying to do what he can do. But Jolix, like I said, possibly going to try to go for that flank right now. It's no one on Team Like is actually holding the flank. Kangu desperately trying to get this kill onto Ajitsu, but it's just not working for him just yet. Ajitsu going to swing and get that frag. And at the same time, Platt is going to be down 
from Jollix, who, like I said, just going to walk up and flank because no one's watching it. Very split push right now. Chesty Poo with the Diffuser is trying to push New Blue while the rest of his team is still by Kitchen. So I'm not sure if that's the best idea in this situation here. Foreign still playing inside a Moto, but he's going to have to leave now as the hatch is getting opened up by Kizap, who's going to rotate back into Kitchen. So it looks like we might see some sort of a Kitchen and moto push here oh girl kisser just holding an angle onto the site door here and we actually see jollix being very aggressive trying to swing that hatch one minute left renegades are getting burned out but the attackers don't really have a great angle on anybody and these are some interesting uh utility placements to say the least coming out from team subscribe but pro girl kisser able to take that out very quickly, Chesty Poo going to drop and try to swing onto the wall there, but Jollox is going to swing and do massive amounts of damage. Actually going to down Chesty Poo. Corn as well, swinging and doing massive amounts of damage. His app in sight, though, going to be taken out by Ajitsu, and the impact going to come out. That's going to kill Chesty Poo. It's all up to Pro Girl Kisser. Corn's going to swing and take him out, though. Very decisive round from Team Subscribe. Ajitsu with the big 3k. All right, round number, no, round number two has started here in a very aggressive start to it as well as the Jitsu and Days are going to be running out of uh, Strip Side and Kitchen Side right now. And look at all the rotate holes they have. Corn also roaming right now. All the hatches open. He's able to just drop through the hatch from bar. We have three roamers on Team Subscribe right now. The bomb site is going to be Gym Bedroom. But it looks like the attackers from Team Like are going to be trying to do a CCTV take, which is pretty standard. I wouldn't say that's anything abstract. This wall needs to get open fairly quickly, though. Chesty Poo with the breach charges should be able to open that. No problem. That or Pro Girl Kisser with uh, either his breaches or uh, impact grenades. Everyone's still standing here outside the wall. Not really sure what to do. Chesty Poo with the bomb. He shouldn't have it. Kangu should, and they should be swapping positions right now. Kangu needs to be on the roof trying to get that jacuzzi wall open. Chesty Poo should have already opened up this wall, but it's not going to matter because Kangu is playing Shiko. On the entry frag, hard bridge, gonna get the first kill onto a jitsu. There goes your alibi now. But we're gonna see who is this stuck down there. He's dead. He's gonna be taken out uh, quite quickly. That's gonna be Frost getting taken out from uh, Platt. Pro Girl Kiss are gonna be down somehow. I'm not even sure how he's downed. I believe he fell off the roof. So his teammates are gonna have to try to help him out there. Chesty Poo finally going to be using his breach charges trying to open up the wall there. If there is any sort of hard breach or hard breach denial on this, they should be able to thatch it off and Kangu should be able to open up the wall swiftly here, which looks to be what they're about to do. This wall needs to be opened from Kangu. And there it is. Pro Girl Kiss are going to get revived from his mistake of falling off the roof now. And that's going to be Kizap who revived him, trying to push down below, watching the flanks of his teammates who were up above, it seems. Now... Flag going to be taking huge amounts of damage. I'm not even sure from who. I believe that's Jollix, who was inside of Lodgy. But he's going to get taken out by Pro Girl Kisser, who just drops the hatch right now. Day's trying to do his best to defend. He's going to swing and actually get that kill onto Pro Girl Kisser. Korn going to rotate up to try to help his teammate. It's now a 2v4 from that 2v5. Capital Kizap, going to be trying to place a hard breach gadget on the Castle Bear. Could open up that window. Plow with a kill onto Day's, though. So it's all up to Korn with the Cav Shoddy. His first victim... Could be Chesty Poo, who's right on the rotate here, but I'm not sure if he knows that Chesty Poo went right through the rotate there. Plaque going to get downed and killed. That is Plaque going to take it out. And a Frost Mat onto Kizap. That is not good. Chesty Poo and Kangu, the only two remaining attackers. And oh no, Kangu's going to get downed by a Frost Mat. So Korn's in a great spot to win. This is just Chesty Poo. Pick him up, pick him up. Give a shotgun, by the way. Give a shotgun. Give a shotgun. Wait, he's on ping. He's on ping. He's, he's literally on ping. He's... Oh yeah, he is on ping. Yeah, right. Wallbang this guy. Oh, Wallbang this guy. Yeah, but wallbang him. He's on ping. He's on ping. Okay, he's your hall. He's your door. Your door. Front door. Front door. 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 Plan. 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 Yeah, plan. Just stick it. Just stick it. Patch. In gym. 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 Nice. 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 Okay. Rest him. Rest him. He's on door. Rest him. He's on the door. No, he's easy. He's watching now. Oh, Corn oh, <laughs> throwing out those impact grenades. Looks like he's actually going to get the bomb down. This is bad for Corn. He misses opportunity, spraying wildly into the site. Both players on about the same HP, near 50 HP. 30 seconds left. Chesty Poo clearly stressed, spraying through the wall. Oh my god, Chesty Poo getting out of there with one HP. Corn pushing now into construction. He sees that. Kangu is down. He's going to go for the swing onto Chesty Poo, but he actually drops the hatch. No, this is disastrous for Korn. I'm not. 
Did he just drop hatch? He did, right, he Jared, did. Go Jared. outside, go outside, go outside. Go outside. Oh my god, okay, just hide on the window and I'll tell you when he's defusing. Just hide on the window, yeah, just do not peek. <laughs> he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. <laughs> Wait! We won! That is going to be round number two going to team like in very chaotic fashion, I should say. Let's just keep that in mind that that was basically a 1v5. Cav in practically a 1v5 there, able to take out mostly everybody. That Frost from Among Us, he didn't get any kills, uh, but he did get lots of downs there. So props to him for getting those downs. Really saved his teammate Corrin in that 1v5. Big props to him. But like I said, that's going to be round number two going to team like. And it's going to be our last round of the split. All right, interesting Azami placements from Ajitsu. He actually places Azami traps on the part of the railing that is already covered. You want to place these Azamis on the part that isn't covered, as that's going to give you the best defense. But Platt, going to nade in there, and that might be the kill onto Pro Girl Kisser. He's going to narrowly miss that and take huge amounts of damage. So Ajitsu able to escape with his life. But here comes another nade from Platt right now. But it's not going to matter because Ajitsu is able to swing before he can throw it. That's going to be Platt getting taken out now. Kangu going to open up that garage wall to help out his team. And he's now going to swiftly move back towards the main breach along with Chesty Poo, which is exactly what they both should be doing. Trying to get this breach open now. Pro Girl Kisser all the way inside of Lodgy right now. Claymoring his flank. Look like he's going to try to get a, just a wall bank kill, I guess, for no reason on the Jollix. I don't even know how he knew he was there, but he did. And that's going to be the kill for him. On the Jollix now, who is very confused in the all chat, clearly. Among Us trying to shoot back into logistics where we see Pro Girl Kisser. His app going to get a nice kill onto Ajitsu. That's finally the Raptor player for Team Subscribe going to be taken out now. Pulse, Corn underneath trying to stop any sort of push into Garage as well as his teammate Days, who is going to get the kill onto Kizap just narrowly. But here comes possibly a refrag from Kengu who's walking in through the Garage. But no, he's going to be put on one HP. The SMG 12 with iron sights of all things coming out from Days. Days and Kengu 1 HP. Kengu going to rotate completely off of that angle now. We're going to see the last two attackers inside of Connor. Now Kengu finally getting that kill. Pro Girl Kisser with another one. Chesty Boo going to walk in. It's all up to Days who's in Garage right now. He's got a refrag. Three people. Can he do it? A lot of damage onto Chesty Poo, but the MPX just not doing enough. Kengu going to walk in and try to plant right on the Garage window, but Pro Girl Kisser with the frag onto Days. That's going to be round number three. Going to team like Chesty Boo going to be doing these invincible cades. So it's good to see that he knows where those cade spots are. My POV basically is try, try, to try to give you guys an insight on what these players are doing. Try to show you the little mistakes they're making. But so far, I haven't seen too many mistakes. Chesty Boo showing that maybe he's not getting the most amount of kills. 0 and 1 again. But he does at least know the common cade spot. So I'll let you guys be the judge if that is uh, sus or not. Among Us going to be able to open up that garage wall very swiftly now, and she's going to repel up to the CC window. Going to have to be careful, though, as Chesty Poo is very aggressively peeking right now, putting himself in quite a bad position, I'm not going to lie. Horn actually Flora is droning from the roof. He's going to try to do his best to get his drone through the window, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. Finally, Among Us can open up that window for him. He's going to try to get all of the utility off the wall, but little does he know, Chesty Poo put those caves underneath, but it actually looks like he was able to destroy one of them from underneath, but Chesty Poo able to swing and get Among Us dead. So that's one of your hard breaches gone, but like I said, uh, the floors of corn was able to open up one of the walls for Ace, so Jox is going to open up that wall right there. Chesty Poo now going to be in a tough spot as both the breach and the window are being contested right now. He's in a very tough spot on the garage rafters. We're going to see Ajitsu actually get the down onto Pro Girl Kisser. Day's going to finish him off right now, but Kizap trying to refrag and do what he can from below. There's actually a Banshee downstairs. That is just strange. Jolix with a Claymore kill onto Chesty Poo, who was, who was playing Rafters, who for some reason decided to walk out of the garage door. So he's going to get Claymore. That is your only Rafters player. Definitely not a smart move by him whatsoever. Excuse me. Day's trying to push in through the new blue stairs right now, but he's going to have to be careful as Platt is playing just at the top of the staircase here. One minute remaining. The defenders are looking like they're in a pretty good spot, even though they don't have the mana advantage. The Jitsu taking a good amount of damage from those head holes from Kangu. Horn being put on all but one HP from Kizap right now, who's inside of Khan, but a Jitsu going to take out Kangu right now. 
that is unfortunate. Corn still playing on the window here. Ajitsu in garage. Day is in garage as well. And we actually see Jolex going for a plant right now. So we need the smoke grenades from Plat to come out, but he doesn't have any. He's wasted all of them. A wall bank from Days. That's gonna be Days getting taken out from Plat. But it's just Jolix, or Jolix gonna take out Kizap, so it's just Plat now. But he could win this as most of the other team is one HP right now. Shotguns will get to come out. That's gonna down Jolix now. Like I said, everybody's one HP, so this is so winnable, but it doesn't matter. A Jitsu with the L85, gonna hit that headshot. And that is whatever round that is going to team subscribe. Plat getting a spawn peek onto Days. There goes your IQ. He's getting a spawn peek and reinforcing the kitchen hatch into the round. That is. Interesting. I'm not even sure how he was able to pull that off. Day saying it's an illegal spawn peak. Well, I didn't see it, so I can't be the judge of that. But Among Us going to be trying to push in through Jim for some reason here. Chesty Poo with a C4 in hand, just playing inside of Oil Pit. Why is he even doing this? Bro, Girl Kisser trying to defend against, I'm not even sure who this is, uh, Ajitsu, who's trying to push in through Stock right now. He's put himself in a very precarious situation just behind the rack here. He's going to take a little bit of damage from that line, getting him to about half HP right now. He really should just drop the hatch if he can, which is exactly what he's going to choose to do. Plat, though, is above stock with holes onto the stock hatch. So that could prove to be a big problem for Ajitsu. I'm not sure if he's looked up and seen the holes just yet, but Plat is shooting right through them right now. Ajitsu narrowly missing, taking any sort of damage there. But I'm not even sure if Ajitsu knows where he's getting shot from as... Plato's, uh, actually he's not using a suppressor. I believe Ajitsu is just currently lost. Among Us with a kill onto Kangu. So that's your smoke getting taken out very quickly into the round. That's not what you want to see. Among Us trying to get that kill onto Kizap, who's playing inside of Arsenal right now. Narrowly going to miss that kill onto Jolix, the Habana. But Among Us still just holding an angle passively. He's on the main stairs, just trying to do what he can to take out Kizap here. Habana trying to fight him as well. That's Jolix doing the best that he can to take him out, but it's not working so far. A minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. They really need to make some sort of a push here. Plat still playing upstairs inside of Stock for some reason, and Kizap finally going to see that there's someone on his main stairs. So he's going to be able to play this a little bit more carefully. He might even go for a pre-fire onto the main stairs where Among Us is playing. He's being so passive just on these main stairs here. Plat is actually above right now. He's trying to get Z-Pings to floor bang. I believe that's Jolix inside of Kitchen right now, but Jolix doesn't even care. Plat really probably should have used his Bailiff there to open up a hole, but that's going to be a Maru pushing upstairs. Korn going to be taken out. Finally, Jolix getting that kill onto Kizap, who was the pulse underneath Arsenal. So it's all up to Chesty Poo, Pro Girl Kisser, and Plat now. Plat is trying to flank, but he's going to miss the shots on the Habana. Jolix going to take him out now. Chesty Poo taking huge amounts of damage. They do have a Thunderbird, but Ajitsu is doing the most to stop him from being able to get that heal. Pro Girl Kisser is tucked close on the wall. Chesty Poo going to take out Ajitsu, but Among Us is going to refrag onto Pro Girl Kisser and get the second kill as well to Chesty Poo. Two to three now. Doing a scoreboard check as well. Plat is on top for Team Like, going six and five. Second place is Pro Girl Kisser. Five and four. Kizap, the only player with a breadstick on Team Light going one and five. Ajitsu, seven and three for Team Subscribe. And Days, two and five as their worst player. So, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think so far. I'm not really sure who the boosted player would be. A lot of people aren't playing at their best. And a lot of people are making very questionable decisions. So, it's going to be a difficult choice for you guys to come up with. But let me know down in the comments who you think it is so far. If you do get it right, I'll be liking your comment and hearting it. So, make sure you guys drop your suggestions down there and stay tuned until the rest of this map to find out who the real boosted diamond is it may surprise you kids up also throwing down some similar cades i'm not sure if this one is as good as the one that we saw from chesty poo but he's gonna throw it nonetheless just want to note little stuff like that to uh give you guys an idea of the game sense on these players and i believe we saw Never mind. I thought Pro Girl Cursor was oh, was reinforcing dirt for some reason, but I love these suppressors on everybody. Everybody's using these suppressors. Spawn peeking. It's so hard to tell where anyone's at on defense, I swear. Golex is going to be trying to, looks like, push in through Strip here solo, but that could be a problem as Kizap is just actually just AFK, it seems, holding the Western Hallway onto Golex here. This could be the easiest kill of, kill of Kizap's life, and it's going to be. There goes Golex getting taken out so swiftly. Two minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock. Rolex very upset about it in the comments, but wow, Days and Corn with a kill of their own onto Kangu and Chesty Poo. Not a great start for the defenders whatsoever. They had the man advantage and they threw it so quickly. I'm not even sure how it happened. Two minutes left on the clock here. It's going to be Pro Girl Kisser. 
Flat and Kizap, the last three remaining against Team Subscribe here. They got a minute 50 seconds left, so they have a lot of time to defend against, which is not a good thing in this instance. Corrin struggling to find out where he wants to go. Minute 40 left, he's going to drop down to the CC window and try to peek this. I'm not sure if we see anybody in Garage right now. So Garage should be being taken, which they were trying to do. Among Us was trying to take it as I say that, but a pro girl kisser from below is able to take him out. Minute 30 seconds left now. Corrin still playing on the CC window. Honestly, pretty good positioning from him. We really need to see someone rotate in through Garage, though. Minute and 20 seconds left. These smoke grenades are starting to come out from Platt, but he's only got two left and over a minute to defend against. So he does not have enough smoke grenades to defend against the time that is left. So they're going to need to get some picks or at least slow the attackers down a little bit more. But as I say that, Platt going to be taken out from Days. Days from the breach going to take him out through that wall. And finally, we're going to see a Jitsu rotate. Days going to be taken out from Pro Girl Kisser. That's your breach player getting downed right now. A Jitsu going to refrag on a Pro Girl Kisser, but that's still Days going to be downed. 50 seconds left. They have time to regroup and revive. I'm not sure why they're choosing not to. A Jitsu possibly overheating. And wow, Korn going to just jump in through sight and aggressively push top red right now. He's going to get the final kill onto Kizap. Team subscribe are going to take it. GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the two maps that we play. And wow, I'm not sure who you guys think it is. Do a little bit more build up to who it is. But Ajitsu, 8 and 3, 4 team subscribe. Among Us, 3 and 4. Those are your best and worst players on team subscribe. Chesty Poo, the worst player for team like 2 and 4. Pro Girl Kids are the best player, 6 and 5. Wow, GG's. Listen Hello. up, gentlemen, listen up. So, up? I believe... <laughs> I believe the team who had the boosted player knows who the boosted player was, but there was a boosted diamond inside of that lobby, and you guys have to figure Kangu. out who it was. Chesty. It was Chesty Poo. Was, we know. Yeah, it was Chesty. It was Chesty. Chesty. <laughs> There's no doubt. He was bottom frag every game. There's no way. Yep. It, it, was, it was Chesty Poo. You don't got to hate on him like that. No, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He was talking no. mad shit at the bottom. That's all I'm saying. No, he was the MVP of the match. He was your guys' anchor. Your guys He was our MVP. Player. He's our MVP in our hearts. Exactly. You're in, in, He's in our MVP. hearts. In your, in your hearts, boys. In your Listen, hearts. fair Shock, enough. I'm boosted. I just wanted to see if you guys were going to be able to guess who it was. That was pretty easy, it seems.